So this is my first son, his name is Max. He loves playing basketball. So my typical weekend, naturally being a parent, starts with driving him to a sport, so his basketball. But at that level, at the end of the game, they simply give you two things what your team scored and what the other team scored. And that's it. I'm working IT. I'm a database guy. I want more than this. I like data. So what did I do? I went over to apex.oracle.com and created myself a little mobile app, which has actually let me type in all the scores. So what happens now is while they're playing, every time someone scores, I simply type in what quarter it was, timestamp when they scored, how many points they scored. The problem with being a data guy and starting to collect this information is obviously word gets out to the parents and they start asking you for data. So you know, this email comes in from Susie Parent. She says, hi, Connor, I saw the report you gave to the coach from the game. And she says, it would be cool if we get that broken down for each player. Now, as you know, whenever a parent says each player, what they really mean is they're interested in their own son, right? And I'm the same. We're all biased toward our own children. So if I want the team results by quarter, you would think I could do something like this. Just, okay, there's the quarter, some of the points by each quarter. That gives me the four results. But there's something missing in this query, and that is it assumes that our team will score every single quarter. If they don't, I get something like this. I get one, two, and four because it just turned out that our team went scoreless in the third quarter. And that's because obviously in databases, the data is sparse. Now, most of us have that facility or sort of that trick of if we need to pad out data, what we do is we introduce something that has all the data. So in, fact, in, in this case, here's my sparse data, but I wanna actually present four quarters worth of data. How do I do that? Well, I need something with four quarters. I can synthesize that using a select from Joule. Connect by level, this is an old trick we use to synthesize data. That gives me all four quarters. I just need to bring these two together now in order to render the data correctly. To do that, it's just a conventional outer join. The first three, the three rows of data I got here, which are the quarters, and then I got a right outer join to my four quarters. So I get the four rows of data, but I have this information like this. I've got 23, 33, and the value that was missing. So a conventional outer join is a great way of padding out the data. But what if the request came in saying, I want player results by quarter? So what I want is I actually want for each player, all four quarters. So I want for quarter one, all the players. For quarter two, all the players, etc. I've got the same problem. There's no guarantee that every single player scored in every single quarter. So once again, I need to synthesize this to the quarter table. So what happens here? Well, I do the same thing. Here's the quarter and player summed up, grouped by crayon quarter. I use a conventional outer join to my four quarters, the one through four. And there's my result. But take a look here. It doesn't look so good. Because even though I joined for quarters one through four, I actually didn't get the right result. You can see here that Matt missed out on quarter three and Max missed out my son on quarter two. This obviously makes me think I should be going to speak to the coach, say, why was he off the court in quarter two? But that's another story. The problem here is I didn't really synthesize enough data. What I really needed was this quarter, these four quarters synthesized for every single player because every single one of them might have only played less than the four quarters. I needed this for Campbell. I needed it for Max. I needed it for every single player. But obviously, I don't know how many players are in the team in advance. So I can't pre-write that many joins into my SQL statement. It's a more difficult problem to solve. And for that, we have a thing called a partitioned outer join. In that case, I simply introduce this one line. Take my four quarters here of synthetic data, but I want to partition it across each distinct player. And that simple addition now gives me the result I want. I get the four quarters for Campbell, the four quarters for Matt, even though he didn't play in quarter number three, and the four quarters for Max, even though he didn't play in quarter number two. So partition by a partitioned data join is a great way of padding out data, but on a grouped basis, as opposed to across the entire table. And that becomes trivial to render in your applications. Once I've padded out the data, doing those kind of reports that show sort of breakpoints becomes really easy because I'm simply padding out the data under each level. My application has nothing to do. It simply grabs the result and renders it on the screen. Less code in your application makes them easier to maintain.